So uh, today I'm not going to talk to you about design, but rather how to build a community around your app. And um, yeah, that's very important, I would say, for people yeah, who work on small apps like the calendar app or the mail app or the Android app or the iOS app, like all of these things, right? Um, all the different aspects of, uh, of Nextcloud essentially yeah, are small. Uh, small parts of the community and um, yeah, there's people interested in, in the mail app or in the calendar app and there needs to be a community around every single thing as well. So I'm going to give you a few tips uh, on how you can improve that and how you can grow your, your team from just yourself or from two people to a few more. And uh, I'm going to use mostly the, the mail app as an example for that. Um, so you probably uh, saw Christoph running around taking photos and he's yeah, probably outside at the moment. Uh, he's a uh, main maintainer of the mail app and there's also Steffen there who's maintaining it also and I'm doing some design for it. And uh, we used a lot of these methods to get more people involved. And um, so, for example, one of the yeah of the main things is to to be informative about your app, right? You need to have a first thing, basically, have a nice landing page esque thing. So we don't necessarily have a website, but we have the README of our of our project of the repository. So there, first of all, of course, the name. Then you maybe have some developer badges, like um, if your build is passing and stuff like that. Uh, then, of course, you have a nice nice screenshot that's always important. And here, what's interesting when I took the screenshot is also that I noticed, well, we can also improve, of course, something here, which is the description. Currently, it only says an email app for Nextcloud. It doesn't say that it's an IMAP app, that it's in development, and like a short description, basically. So it's also good that, uh, yeah, we still need to improve some things. Then, um, for, yeah, but you see, like, one of the most important things really is a screenshot so directly you know what it exactly is and, and how it looks, yeah, how it works like. Uh, then below when you scroll down actually, uh, this is the text uh, that uh, continues. So it explains why is the Nextcloud mail app so awesome. So it's basically a, a nice feature list and then also to be transparent about it, it's a list of features we're working on. So things which are coming up in the future, things we, we have planned, for example, and where we might need help or where we probably need help. So uh, there also, there then should be links. That's also something we can improve still. There should be links to the, the issue list and yeah, where, where these issues are discussed and uh, so that you can get involved. And uh, yeah, we made it a bit more fun with a few emojis, so that's always nice. Then uh, another important uh, thing also is, of course, how you can install the app, because if you look at the repository, not everyone knows how to install it. So the user-facing installation, we just explain how you basically install an xCloud app. So it seems very simple and, and uh, obvious, but for, for many people it's not. And uh, then, yeah, a maintainer list uh, just to say who you can talk to and where you can find us, basically. And then a really important thing, uh, of course, to get people involved. And what is very, very often uh, yeah, not, not put in the README, because people, for some reason, expect the people who look at a repo to know how you install any software, apparently, is to put developer setup info. So what do you actually need to run to to develop this app or, or to, to set up a developer setup. Here, for example, make install composer devs and make optimized JS, right? I, for example, I will work on, uh, on GitHub repositories and stuff, but I, I don't always know, yeah, wh what does this gem file now mean? Where is this make file? What do I need to do now? So just having these commands in there, it's just two commands, right? But you need to write them down so that you're approachable to people and they can just run it. And yeah, also, as I said before, just be a bit fun. Uh, if you see a repository, and there are some, especially new ones, which are in the Nextcloud organization and they don't have a, a, an emoji and a nice short description in the overview yet, then please add one. Uh, a relevant one and, and a yeah, short description, because then when you scroll through the list, it's a very cool short description and people know what this app is about, more than when they just look at the, at the repository name. Then another important point is to be inclusive. So you probably know that we have this starter issue label, 
which we use for small tasks, which yeah are, are yeah very easy to get into uh, development of Nextcloud on all kinds of areas, on design, on development, on yeah all kinds of different aspects. So even though sometimes like for example there's this issue non square avatars are stretched for example like this could also be something that we that we directly fix and of course it should be fixed in a release but we will keep it there for some time just so people who want to get involved can get involved that way and can fix it so it's always important i think to have a, a good list of starter issues always available to not only yeah always do these and and keep fixing them and just have all the hard issues piling up so no one can get involved, but have a healthy list of issues which are yeah simple to fix maybe for example this yeah design of sidebar is a bit broken in Safari there's a there's an extra line break for example and it just needs someone interested a bit in CSS who has Safari to basically inspect it. Uh, so yeah, if someone of you uses Safari uh, on OS X and wants to look into it, actually uh, you can. So uh, just look at the issue list and and. Uh, look through it. And so, yeah, that's very important to get involved. And also, it's important as a project to not put issues, like starter issue means starter issue. It doesn't mean I don't want to do it, so I'll tag starter issue. So please don't do that. <laughs> But yeah, so far, like we're doing pretty well. Like we, we use it since quite some time already, and uh, it's, it's pretty successful, actually. Then another thing, of course, to, to build your team, you have to yeah, add mention people or you have to involve people. And uh, that's why it's so cool that, that yeah, GitHub uh, has this add mentioning thing and our commenting feature, as Arthur said, uh, as it's uh, too as well as soon. So um, here, for example, Christoph uh, did a pull request and then he basically add mentions a bunch of people like Lucas and me and Pierre who's a community person and then the next cloud slash mail team which is the whole, yeah, people um, or a team of people which we called uh, mail and where we add people who are involved in the mail development. Like there's a designers team, like there's an Android team, like there's other teams like for, for LDAP, for JavaScript and everything. So yeah, if you, if you think, yeah, or if you want a team like that, uh, it's good to, to create that on GitHub. And if you don't know how to do that, let me know. Uh, we can create it. Yeah, the, the calendar app has one. The, the contacts app is also has a team. And so it's a very quick way to mention everyone of that team and get them involved. And also it's important to, when people start doing pull requests, that you don't get overwhelmed yourself. You just start at mentioning the people of the other pull requests in the first pull request so that they cross review. So that's just yeah, community building basically. And all you need to do, or the main thing you need to do, is let people know that they can review it. A lot of people think they, they are not allowed to review other pull requests, which is of course not true. And then, uh, yeah, one interesting thing is always yeah, do a meetup. This is, for example, the Munich meetup. Uh, we hang out together um, and uh, we code. This was like uh, mail app development uh, some time ago. And it's always more fun in person. And uh, yeah, that's why I hope there will be more meetups soon. So uh, yeah, like for example, in Stuttgart, I, I heard there's uh, soon going to be a meetup. And yeah, in Berlin, uh, we have one and uh, then, yeah. Let's see. And also, uh, as Karen said, uh, diversity is very important. So I'm very happy uh, to say that at the end of October, we're participating in an event called Ladies That Foss in Berlin, uh, which is organized by Wikimedia. So there uh, it's uh, about uh, involving women in technology and uh, yeah, in open source software projects specifically. So if you're here and want to mentor for, for uh, Nextcloud, then yeah, you're welcome. Uh, it's all on, uh, yeah, you just need to basically look for ladies that fast and there's a website and it describes it. And if you have any questions about that, uh, then, then contact me uh, or Jos uh, or yeah, if you, especially if you want to mentor, that would be very, very cool. Yeah, thank you. And there's going to be a workshop, just a small thing, a workshop for the mail app specifically uh, today uh, at the last time slot, uh, which is done by uh, Christoph and Steffen. So yeah, you're welcome for that as well. So also do a workshop at this conference if you want to get people involved. Thanks. <laughs>